Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chip here uh, for another Moe tutorial. Uh, I want to talk a little bit today about how you repair models, a little bit more about how to delete fillets that you don't like or bevels that you don't like. Um, so to get started, let's just let's let's start off by just drawing a kind of a, a solid box. And I'm gonna take a cylinder, I'm gonna put a cylinder in here and draw that up. Uh, oops, let's move him straight up. Let's drag him. Punch him in a little bit, and then let's bully him, bully him out of the box. So now we can see that we've got this. Uh, so if we're going to try and repair this hole, the way you do that, of course, is uh, you may know this already, but you separate all the objects. Now we have all the different objects. I'm going to go in here and delete this, delete that. So now we just have this hole. And now if I come in here and just actually and delete, see this 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 bounding rip. That's the hole. That's uh, as part of the original uh, part of the original surface that's created by the nerves. If I hit the delete key on that, now I've got I'm back to everything, back to my my my, my main uh, surfaces, and I can basically union those. And now up here it says we have a solid. So, so that's uh, the first thing I want to talk about, um, and that is uh, that's you know what you need to do is that you need to understand that every operation you perform on a nerves model. Is actually trimming those nerves somehow, or cutting holes in them, or adjusting them from the original. And you can always get back to the original by deleting those outer outer lines. So let's let's talk about that a little bit. Let's go in here and let's let's fill it uh, uh, this surface, and let's go into the same kind of thing. Now, how do I replace? How do I fix that? Right. So, you know, again, you got to separate everything, and uh, you're going to need to delete. Uh, go in here, or actually select. And then select all the representations here and then hit delete. And that goes back to the original if you notice that. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select everything on the on the outside and hit delete. And it's back to the original. And here I do the same thing. And there's a shortcut. Uh, I've mapped it to command uh, right key that so once you select the two surfaces or two two lines will actually go around and select all of them. I'll put it in the notes. Uh, I forget the name of the shortcut, but I've made it to my command right bracket because it's uh, works that way I think in, in Lightwave and so now I've got it working that way here too. Uh, so as you can see this is what I'm doing here is I'm manually restoring let's, you know, use that shortcut. I'm manually restoring this box and I select everything and I can join them uh, and now I've got a solid again. So so that's 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 step one and that's kind of a nice way to, to, to Fix and fill up. There's actually another another uh, kind of a command plugin um, that I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate to you. And let's let's say that we have a little more than just that fill. Let's take we let's say we have uh, let's let's grab you know a little bit more a more detailed model. So take this and this. We union these together. Now we have one object. We'll just take it all. We'll fill it the whole thing. Do something smaller than that. Let's try that. That's still too big. There we go. Something like this. Okay. So now I want to. So I want to remove the fillets from this whole object. So I can select the object, and I go into the external scripts, and this is separate, select outer loops, delete, trim. I'll put a link to this, to the the, the thread there where this was found. But this is the actual the, the the command that you use, and you click on it, and let it run. And I always, I don't use this done. I always hit this cancel button. I've found that sometimes I think that only very few times I've found that this, by, by clicking done and selecting other objects and trimming everything with itself uh, actually helps. Uh, so I always hit this cancel button here. So then once I've got that, let's just go into here and you can, uh, it's, you can see that I can easily select a lot of the parts that it left behind uh, which is it basically broke up all these parts. Uh, what that, what that, what that command did, it broke up all those parts and untrimmed everything to the original uh, thing. So what I want to do now is delete the stuff I know I don't want. So I'm going here and like that. I know I don't want that. Remember this, this trick. Yeah, that's gone. Um, uh, so all of these lines here, I can delete uh, these as long as I don't hit, as long as I don't hit this this object. So I can delete that. I can delete that, don't get the bottom object. I can delete this. I'm 
hold the shift key down to deselect it after I select everything. And I can certainly go in here and hold the shift key down and delete that. And then uh, I'm going to isolate it. There. Let's delete that. And then let's turn off isolation. Okay, so take this one and this one, and I can say trim, done. And now I can select this remove, remove that. And now you can see I've got all the original shapes. All I need to do is say group them all and say join. And you'll see that while this is a solid, this one up here is not. It's a joint service. And why is that? Well, that's because it's open on the bottom. That's very simple. We just take the surface of this whole object. Anytime you have an object, uh, a surface object that has uh, a planar, one planar opening, you hit the planar button, it automatically closes that opening. That's a really kind of a nice, a nice shortcut. So now we have a solid. So let's show, uh, show everything, and and all we do is union those, and now we have we're back to our solid. So now we can add different kinds of radiuses and everything. So anyway, I, I think this is a uh, it's a is a, a good tip by uh, Monsieur Pilo. I have to say, uh, I thought it was a great trip tip, and uh, the uh, I'll put a, a note to the different plugins that I used in particular. The one plugin, the, the, the most important one, is this separate, select, outer loops, delete, trim. That one basically does all of that at one, with one fell swoop. Uh, so we showed you at the beginning how to do it manually, and now we showed you how to use this, this uh, plugin to help do that. Okay, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll look forward to talking to you later. Bye.